Next on Lady Alison Chapman's table is a force to be reckoned with in the form of mother and daughter duo Lillian and Amanda. These are your silver plated serviette rings. So what, what makes them special? Well, we know they're White Star. OK, so White Star, they're in Titanic. But these aren't Titanic. I so wish they were, because it would make them ten times easier to sell on. They are what they are. They're a White Star, star line, silver plated napkin ring. So how did you come by them? Well, we had a brownie jumble sale. And at the end of the sale, you know, all the rubbish, and they were going to go into the bin because they were black and they were all tied together with postman string. So I thought I'd clean them up and have a dinner party. They went into a drawer and they stayed there for about 45 years. Did they? Do you know anyone that uses serviette rings nowadays? Probably the Queen. The Queen would, yes, wouldn't she? Would, Definitely. Yes. So I'll put her on my potential <laughs> client list. But anyway, let's put my money on the table. Ten pounds. That's a good starter. <laughs> Is that for one? No. You don't really want the Allison, do you? Yeah, you've read me very well. <laughs> if they were silver, I'd be like delving deep. Let's call it fifteen then. I don't see them at fasting more than that. I'm ever so sorry, Lillian. Where do you see them at? A lot more than that, I'm afraid. Do you? Yeah. So, do you think you ought to go to auction with them? Would you go to auction if you were me? Not with silver-plated serviette rings, I wouldn't. But it depends if they can promote... It's the history, isn't it? Well, what history do they have? They were made by the White... Or they were used by the White Star Line and they happened to have a ship called Titanic that sank. You've got no romance in your soul. Yeah. I have so much romance, it pours out of me. It's a glamorous time. The it was a time. glamorous time. And... and in that time, there were many glamorous things made. But I am listening to your story, and I fooled for your story to the tune of 15 pounds. So what would you like to do, Lillian? I think we'd go to auction, yes? Yes. Off to auction, have you ever been to auction? No. You'll have a lot of fun. It means you can spend time with David, and I hope you do well with them there. Thank you ever so much, Lillian. Thank you. Thanks Thank you, Amanda. Me. Thank you. Dear, Alison wasn't impressed by the silver star serviette rings, was she? Hopefully there'll be some buyers at the auction who'll love them. Let's find out as they go under the gavel of auctioneer William Rouse. 12, 14. You brought along something rather interesting. You brought along five Elkington silver-plated napkin rings. Now, Alison said, I will give you £15 for your silver-plated uh, rings, which would have made a nice profit, but you turned her down. <laughs> The reserve is 40 quid. Dare I say it, are they going to sink in the sale room or are they going to sail? Let's find out. They're coming up now. £20 then to go. 20 unbid everywhere. 22, 25, 28, 30, 32, 35, 38, 40. We've got On the money, 42, 45. It's amazing what this White Star connection does. 60, 65, £65 here. At 65, they're going. OK, £65 under the gavel, a very good result. Take away the commission and you're going home with £55. Any idea what you're going to do with the money? I think we'll have a meal out. Shall we? OK. <laughs> it sounds like the girls, mother and daughter, are going to have a nice meal out with their 55 quid, and that was the real deal. So tell me about this one. Yes, well, this one's quite interesting. It was, um made for the Festival of Britain in 1951 um, and then unfortunately the King died, George VI, and they decided to um, use them as the coronation coach for Queen Elizabeth II. And what are they made out of? Lead. They're all lead toys. Mm. So why are you selling them? I've had them, I've enjoyed them and um, I like to buy things as well so it just I need allows a bit you... of have more capital. play money. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I have almost a fanatical market for royal things, and that market is Japan. And I'm perfectly sure that with this being the special year for our Queen, mm. um, that will have a great influence on these prices it will. as well. 
So let's have a play, Sarah, shall we? Oh, okay. I've listened intently to what you've got to say. So, I've got a hundred pounds. One fifty. Two hundred. Three hundred pounds. That's a very kind offer, but I know that they are worth more than that. Because I like to have a like a gamble. <laughs> and I'm a very much a, a royalist at heart. Those four hundred and fifty pounds. No, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's off to auction. Yep. I it's been so. a pleasure, Sarah. It's been lovely to A me. real pleasure. Thank you very right. much. Thank and you. I've learnt something today. So thank Good. you for that. All right, thank you. She did make me a very good offer, but I knew that, in fact, they were worth um, more than the offer, and I wanted to make sure that I could get the best price I could for them. We had a good chat about it, and unfortunately, I couldn't accept the offer, but it was very enjoyable anyway. Alison may have offered over the odds, but Sarah's not budging. So the coach and horses canter off to the sale room. Sarah brought along two rather interesting items, a British state coach and horses, and also another a boxed Leslie products state coach. Together she was offered £450 by Alison Chapman. She turned that down. I thought it was a really good offer. She decides to gamble and put it into the auction. She can't make it today. I'm looking after her interests. The auctioneer has split the lots. The first one has a 250 reserve and the second lot has a 350 reserve. I think the estimates are a bit too high, but let's see what happens. £100 the lot. £100 I'm bid, 110, 120, 130, 140, 140 pounds. At 140 for that state coach, 140 pounds, 140. It did not sell the first one. It got up to 140 pounds. The next one has a reserve of 350. Even worse. 200 pounds for it. Anybody want it for 200 pounds? I'm I'll, or I'll pass the lot, no interest for 200. I think these reserves are far too or ambitious. I'll pass the lot, no interest for 200. No interest, sorry. As you can see, there was no interest in the room. They didn't sell. I am amazed, actually, that Sarah didn't take the £450 that was offered on the day by Alison Chapman. Alison, fantastic bid. Congratulations to you. Sadly, Sarah didn't take that on the day and they didn't sell in the sale room. But the real deal was with Alison Chapman. Tell me about your carpets, rugs. Well, they were bought in Abu Dhabi. Right. My sister lived out there for a while, but she moved back about two years ago, two to two and a half years ago. Yeah. And the house that she's in now, there's no space for display. No. So she's just got them rolled up. Sad. In really, a corner isn't it? somewhere. Really? Yes. You see, in Abu Dhabi, in a house out there, they would sit quite well, wouldn't they, on the walls? Yeah, because, because it would fit the into houses are really. quite massive. You yeah, see. absolutely. And this down here, this is signed. Yeah, they're all signed. They're all signed. All of them, and there's yes. seven, let's not yeah. get it wrong, there's a few not on here. So yes. it's seven rugs and you're selling them as one lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a package. This says buy me cheap in English. Is it? No, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak I don't speak Arabic, I'm afraid. This is Arabic so. and it says Michael can have these cheap because I like him. No, I don't nah, say that. It, it no. doesn't. Are you expecting lots of money for these? I'm sure they cost you lots. Oh yeah, they did. How much did you pay for all of them? Um, one of them, I think that the, the biggest one was oh, about a thousand pounds. I can believe that. Because of the quality of these, and because of the potential they would have in a sale room, and because they're so young, I really don't think I can make you an offer on it. It's, it's not my area of expertise, to be honest with you, and I just think you'd make a lot more money out of these seven rugs by taking them to auction. I mean, let's see what David says. Well, I've just heard what Michael has said, and, and I think I agree, because what we haven't got amongst our experts on the programme, we haven't got a rug specialist. And so I'm saying it's in your best interest yeah. if we go to the sale room, let a specialist rug expert within the sale room complex uh, catalogue these individually will maximise the best price we can get. The auctioneer is saying somewhere 
in that two to three thousand pound range for seven rugs. I think that's realistic. Yeah. And I think what we should do is get to the option, maximise your price, and then you'll be going home with a nice few quid. Thank you, David. That was such sound advice, wasn't it, really? Because, like you yeah. said, you know, once it gets to the auction, they will catalogue them properly and the buyers will be there looking at them. OK. So auction it is. Yes. Have auction you been to auction is. before? No. Wow, you're in for a surprise. I am. Seven lots of paradise. Nice to meet you. Thanks Thank for coming on. Thank you very on. much. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, you sat down on the dealer's day with Michael Hogburn uh, and Michael said, look, I don't really understand these. I can see they're good quality, but they're not really my cup of tea. I suggest you go to the auction. Yes. They're split into seven lots. The first lot is coming up now. Let's see what they do. Here it is now, the first lot. Uh, start this, start me £400 for it. 400 420 440 Here at 460 480 500 and 50 650 700 700 pounds 750 yes 800 800 pounds then on the phone with the air record 800 anybody else want to come in 800 pounds okay the first one's made 800 pounds a very good start start me 400 pounds a lot 400 I bid downstairs 420 440 460 480 500 and 50 600 pounds for the lady you want 650 upstairs 650, 700, 750, 800, 850. 850 on the telephone. There are bids in the room here. There are carpet professional dealers everywhere. 900 down below. 950. You want 1,000 pounds? 1,000 pounds. 1,100 is the next bid. And 1,000 pounds, 1,100. 1,200. 1,200 pounds down below it is at 1,200. Anybody else want to come in? That's it. It's 1,200. A great start. First one brought £800, the second rug brought £1,200. Lot 13, there we go, start me this one, £500 to go. Five, 500, I'm in here, 500. And 50, 600, and 50, 700, and 50, 800, and 50, 900, and 50, 950 there, £1,000. All right, 1,050, 1,100 upstairs. 1150. Very similar to the, to the last lot, which brought 1200. 1200. 1250. 1200. You all done? 1250. 1250 pounds. Let's go to the fourth lot. 400 pounds for this one. 400 I'm bid. 420. 420. 440. In the room at 440. This one a bit underestimate. 440. OK, that's four rugs sold. We're going to the fifth rug now. Uh, start with this one, £400 for this. I'm bid 400, 420, 440 there. 460 upstairs, 480, 500, 550, 600. £600, pounds, telephone bidder, against the room there. here. All right, 620, 650 upstairs. 650 it is then upstairs. Anybody else? 650. We're now going into 15A. This is the sixth rug. So this one, start me, this one, £400 for this. And bid 420, I'll take 400 pounds. You're 420 upstairs. 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 700, yet 750, 800, 50, 900, 900 pounds, 950, 1000 pounds, 1100, 1200. They're going for this one in the big way. 1300. £1,300 then. Great result. £1,300. One, two, three, four, five, six rugs have sold. Um, and we're coming up to the last rug now. Start me this one. Start me £400 to go. £400 I'm bid and 20 i I'll take upstairs. For 20 for 40 for 60 for 80 500 and 50 600 and 50 700 and 50 800 and 50 900 and 50 1,000 pounds. All right, but let's, uh, 1,050. We're at 1,050 on the last rug now. 1,100, 1,150, 1,200. At 1,200 pounds. Hands everywhere in the room. Telephone bidder. 1,250, 1,300, 1,350. 1,350 down below, 1,350. At 1,350 pounds, I'm going to sell it. 
final rug has just gone down £1,350. What's your first reaction? Oh, my first reaction. Oh Are you pleased? I am so pleased. Really? I am very pleased. Very pleased with that. On the day in the sale room, there's been a lot of excitement. There's been a lot of competition. The total for your seven rugs is £6,990. So it's just a fraction under £7,000. We have to take away 15%, and that's going to leave you with something near to 5950 just a little bit less than that. Happy? Happy. Very happy. Delighted. Indeed. And that is the real deal. Right, now, Leona, you've bought in this fish vase. Mm. What can you tell me about it? Um, my granddad's had it in his cupboard for a very long time. And he thought it would be interesting. And it is quite interesting. Do you know anything else about it, about who made it or anything like that? No. What about you, Rudy? Do you know much more about it? Well, I know it's the Claris Cliff. Um, I bought it with a, a collection. So was it a big collection or was it...? There's, there's about 30 pieces to the collection, but they're not all in that good condition. It's a little bit unusual, this. I mean, yeah. when people talk about Clarice Cliff, they sort of normally imagine the, the bizarre range, mm. and I think the sort of very highly coloured sort of deco plates with the balloons and the different Quite, colours yeah, on. Yeah. This is yeah. a wee bit later, isn't it? I, think I, I, I don't know. I think this is a little bit later on. If we turn it over, we can just make out that it's got a little... Can you see that impressed mark yeah. there, Leone? And that says Claris Cliff. And that is a name that immediately people will recognise, of course. So do you like it, Leone? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to keep it? Mm -hmm. It's not really my kind of thought, but I like it. And what would you do with the money if you sold um, it? Um, because me and my mum and sister and dad are planning to go to Florida, so use the money for Florida. Oh, well. <laughs> So you're going to go to Florida on the, on the proceeds of Grandad's fish? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He'd probably That's come with right. us. Right, well, I'm, I shall try and contribute towards the cost of going to Florida. I'm not fast sure how far you'll get on what I'm offering, but I would pay you for your fish 20, 30 pounds. Mm. She doesn't look terribly impressed, does she? No, no. <laughs> What about you, Rudy? What's your gut reaction? Um, well, considering it's quite an interesting piece, as you've already said, um, I'd expect a bit more than that. A little bit more. What about if I went another five pounds and said thirty-five pounds? No, not really. No, not impressed. <laughs> well, let me try once more. Let me take that away, and I'll put down another twenty, and I'll say forty pounds. What's your gut reaction, Leonie? What do you think um, you should do? Because I'm obviously quite young. I think it is quite a lot, so I would take it as a yes. <laughs> but as you said, you're quite young, and I think Rudy might have to decide to make sure that he thinks he can't get a bit more in auction. Mm. Would you like a day at the auctions? I'm quite happy with it, yeah. I'd like to go to the auctions. Go on, let me tempt you a little bit more. I said it was my final offer, but go on, £45. That is my final offer. What's your decision, Rudy and Leone? Go to auction. Auction it is, then. I hope you do very well in auction, and I hope you make lots of money towards your adventure in Florida. And thank you both very much for coming in today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to the holiday, so let's hope we'll get more money. But have you and Grandad made the right decision, Leone? They're joining the Duke in the sale room where auctioneer Martin Lambert is angling to get them a better deal. We all know about Claridge Cliff. Everyone likes it. It's still very, very popular. 60 to 80 pounds is the estimation here in the sale room. Has Grandad made the right decision? Well, I think he has. Let's find out by looking over at the auctioneer now and see what happens. Uh, you tell me where you want to be. 80 pounds is at 80, 50 pounds then. I would have thought quite an unusual one. I have 30 here, still no money. At 30 pounds then, your turn if you will. 35, 40 now if you will. At 35 pounds then, 35 pounds for the Clarence Cliff. 40, 45, back in, sir. 
50 pounds. Still love rare, rare. Come on. It's at the reserve. At 50 then. Bids on me left at 50 pounds. If we're done, we're happy you're all done at 50 pounds only. At 50 I sell. So the gamble has just gone down at 50 pounds. Well, that's good news in some ways, but there is a commission to take off. It's just under 43 pounds. Now, you turned down 45 pounds from Simon. You took the gamble, you thought it was worth the risk, and I think it was, but on the day, it didn't quite make it. Are you a bit disappointed? Not really, no, because um, we've had a chance to have a nice day out. OK. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Coming to the sale room? Yeah. You see, it's a good experience. You come to the sale room on Dickinson's Real Deal, you'll really enjoy it. You're going home with about 43 quid, and that is the real deal. <laughs>